Don't know what you're saying You're flying higher than a plane And I'm not complaining what? Hello, good morning everybody So, welcome to my channel My name's Bethany Palmer Today's video is going to be A what I eat in a day To avoid a binge So you're going to see a lot of a lot of eating A lot of high volume eating Generally on lower calorie things Because obviously if I'm high volume eating On high calorie things then I'm just overeating all day so these are the kind of things that I eat in a day to avoid a binge. So the things, the meals that fill me up the most. So by the end of the day, I'm not completely ravenous and I don't succumb to a binge. So that's kind of what I'm going to be taking you through today. This is pretty much what I'm eating every day at the moment. Very different to the foods that I ate in like my previous what I eat in a day videos. Obviously I'm kind of going through something at the moment. So those videos are pretty redundant to what I am now. Um, as I'm sure you can probably understand if you saw my last video. I woke up at 10.30 today, which is insane because I never sleep in that much. But I'm in isolation. I don't have a job at the moment. So what else am I going to do? I'm not super, super hungry because last night I wouldn't say I binged, but I definitely overate and I definitely was kind of on the cusp of overeating and binging, if that makes sense. Didn't have a complete loss of control. Might have for a second, but I kind of pulled myself back in and I was okay. Nonetheless, I ate too much. So this morning my stomach is feeling a bit yucky. So I'm not super hungry. So I'm just gonna sit outside in the sun, have a tea and just kind of listen to my body, listen to its cues for when I do start to feel hungry. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make myself some breakfast. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe as well. <laughs> Love it if you joined me here. But yeah, I'll see you guys when I've made my tea and I'm sitting outside. down to the shops and got my favorite pancake mix which is the no shoe butter milk pancake mix which is this one here i usually cook about half the batter that this makes by shaking it up so i'm just going to shake it up it always gets stuck at the bottom it's so annoying um i'm just going to shake it up and make some pancakes and yeah this is my favorite breakfast at the moment i've literally had it every single day i'm gonna say for the last week so <laughs> I'm a little bit obsessed. It's like $6. It's kind of expensive, but when I break it out, it, it usually lasts me like two days. So like two breakfasts, because I usually have the mixture, like I said. So I'm like, it's $3 a breakfast. Like, that's not that bad. I can't justify it. It makes so many pancakes. I usually get between like, I don't know, eight to 10 pancakes, and they're like, not huge, they're like, you'll see. I'm gonna start cooking after this is fucking shaking. <laughs> So this is what we're working with. So made, I'm pretty sure 11 pancakes today because it's sugar-free, I don't know, the brand is like, it's pretty low calorie, which is good because I can eat a lot of it and it keeps me really full. And for me, when I eat an abundance of food, it makes me feel like I don't need to eat as much at the end of the day. So it usually helps me stop a binge, which I mean, it just works for me. So it might not work for you, but personally, that's just how my brain works. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and eat these. And this is seriously my favorite breakfast. Just put some raspberries, they were frozen raspberries, and then I just put them in the microwave and crushed them up. And then I've just got maple syrup on it too. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. And then I'll probably have a couple of snacks before lunch. And then yeah, I'll check in with you guys later. So I'm gonna have my first snacks of the day, which is this random little, like, I think it's like a raspberry jelly cup with pear in it. I don't know why, I've been loving these jelly cups so much. Like they're such a good snack. And then I'm just gonna have this peanut and almond muesli bar as well. These are kind of, yeah, just been the snacks that I've been vibing with the last, you know, week or so. Been working for me, keeping me nice and full until lunchtime. Like I'm not quite hungry enough to have lunch, but I'm hungry enough to have a snack, you know what I mean? And having snacks throughout the day really, really, really help me not binge later because just having breakfast and lunch is not enough for me personally. I need to have at least a snack between breakfast and lunch or a snack between lunch and dinner. But I've honestly achieved nothing today. I've sat on the couch and watched American Horror Stories since about midday and it's about 3pm. So 
and I never usually eat this late, but I woke up so late, like I said at the beginning, I never do that. All my meals are probably going to be pushed back pretty late, but I will make sure I get in all three meals and all my snacks as well today, because I really don't want to binge later. And so far, I'm right on track, so I'm really happy with myself, and I'm going to go ahead and eat these, because they're so yum, and I'm so excited. And then I'm going to make lunch, and I'm thinking eggs on toast. I love breakfast food, so you're going to see a lot of breakfast food, but yeah, <laughs> thanks guys. Okay guys, so... I have finally plucked up the courage to do a workout and I can't be bothered, I'm not gonna lie, but only because the gyms are shut where I am and I love the gym more than anything and I can't go so everything just seems so much worse. <laughs> But I finally plucked up the courage to do a HIIT workout so I'm going to do one of Pamela Reef's um, HIIT workouts. I've literally just got it set up on the TV as you can see. This is my cat. Oh my god, you're so handsome. Nom, 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 nom. He's like, fuck off. So I'm gonna do a workout and then I'm going to eat some food. Yay! I'm gonna have eggs on toast finally. Um, but I feel like I need to move my body because, like I said, I have been sitting on the couch watching American Horror Story all day. So, I'm about you for a workout. <laughs> protein shake that I'm drinking after my workout and I feel like protein is really important for me just because it keeps me so full which is kind of the goal <laughs> if I don't want to be binging later then staying full is so important so yeah I'm just gonna drink this and then I'm gonna make some eggs on toast so stay tuned <laughs> So this whole entire video is just me looking like trash, but it's fine. I was gonna film the process of me making that dinner, but my camera died, so I love that for me. This is just a stir fry. It's a teriyaki stir fry. It has vegan duck, so it's like mock meat, duck mock meat. I just love it because it has so much protein in it. It's like super, I can't even remember how much. It's like over 20 grams of protein per serve, so amazing. And then I've got just some rice noodles and just like a random stir fry mix that I got from Coles. And then teriyaki sauce and garlic through it. So this is like my go to dinner at the moment. I go through phases of what I eat. Like I'll eat the exact same thing every single day for like a week and then I'll change it up the next week and then I'll have something else new that I'm obsessed with. So <laughs> this is my current obsession. Fills me up really, really nice. Makes like a pretty big disturbing at least for me like this is pretty decent i'll have a snack after this like i'll probably have like a chocolate bar or something because i love my chocolate so i'll probably have a chocolate bar i have it with my tea every single night this really really helps me stay full like i said earlier lots of protein helps a lot for me and having consistent meals throughout the day helps a lot for me. So you'll see that I, I eat quite consistently. Like I'll have breakfast, snack, lunch, and then I have like a protein shake. So like another snack, but I had it with my lunch. And then I've also, I haven't showed you, but I've also been eating dried apricots just like sporadically throughout the day. Like I'll just walk past the pantry and grab a couple and keep walking. But I probably had like a good handful of uh, dried apricots as well which I love, it's super to snack on. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and eat this and then I'm gonna have a chocolate bar and a cup of tea. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. I hope this is giving you some sort of inspiration or insight into what I eat to prevent a binge. I know that I won't binge tonight just because I'm filming it and I know that filming it helps me so much not to binge. Like just keeping that, like just having that accountability, if that makes sense. So I know I won't binge tonight, which is a nice feeling because I have really gotten to know my body and what like the cues and the things that make me binge. 
so I'm pretty confident that I won't but I mean who knows anything can happen I suppose but thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video I hope it gave you some sort of inspiration for meals or just kept you entertained or whatever don't forget to subscribe and also like this video too and I'll see you guys in my next one